Is that... Hi guys, um, in this video we're going to be covering some of the basics, the definitions that you should know before going on to Newton's laws. Um, this is a part of the introduction to Newton's laws and then we'll move on later in, in later videos to drawing of diagrams and then actually the definition of Newton's laws and some examples from exams and past papers. So we're just going to go through some definitions right now. Uh, we'll start off with the normal force. You might have already heard of this, but this is a revision. You should have covered this in grade 11, so we might go through them a little quickly. So the normal force. Define N as the force of the component of a force which a surface exists, exerts on an object which it, which it is in contact with and which is perpendicular to the surface. So what does this mean? So the key words in this definition that markers will be looking for and that you should really be paying attention to is it's a force which the surface exerts on objects. It's a force which the surface exerts on object and it is perpendicular to the surface. So if I just have to draw a quick sketch or a diagram, if we have some sort of surface here, um, so, and there's a block. So, the normal force will be defined as the force that the surface exerts on the object. That's your normal force. It's defined as N. Note that it's always perpendicular or at right angles to the surface. Uh, if you have to take another example, it's quite straightforward, but if you have a block on an inclined plane, like so, if the force of, you know, the force of gravity always acts downwards, but the normal force doesn't always act upwards, it always acts perpendicular to the surface. So this is what the normal force would look like. So the next definition is frictional force. Frictional force is the force that opposes the motion of an object in contact with the surface. And it, is, and it acts parallel to the surface of the object it is in contact with. Um, there are three different types of frictional forces that you need to know the definition for. Um, that's the static frictional force, the kinetic frictional force, and the maximum static frictional force. We'll just read the definitions, and then I'll draw some diagrams to, to help you understand easier. So static frictional force is the force that opposes the tendency of motion of a stationary object relative to a surface. So, when an object is stationary, so I've labeled that as number one, so let's just draw a short, small diagram to help you understand this a bit easier, so we have number one here. So, if there's a block here, and a force is exerted, but the block doesn't move, so block doesn't then it is static frictional force. So that means that the amount of friction over here, at this point here, is too great and the block cannot move. That means it's static frictional force. Very simple to understand. Let's move on. Kinetic frictional force, the force that opposes the motion of a moving object relative to a surface. So now if we have another block, another case. Maybe it can be even the same block. So in case two, we have a block here. And a force is applied. And let's say I draw a bigger arrow, implying it's a stronger force. Same amount of friction is on the ground here. But the block starts moving. The block is moving. So kinetic frictional force takes place or is in motion or is effective when the block is actually moving. So if the block is not moving, static frictional force is in effect. But if the block is moving, then you need to know that it is kinetic frictional force. So the block is moving this way. That means that you know, friction, frictional force, kinetic is moving this way here. That's just a normal force applied. The force applied here in, in the first example, force applied here. And your frictional force, your frictional force, static, 
static will be greater than the force applied. Okay, let's move on to the final one. Maximum static frictional force. This, the static frictional force is a maximum just before the object starts to move across the surface. So, what this basically means is it is the maximum force that you can apply to an object before the object starts to move. That is what's known as maximum frictional force. It's the same as static frictional force, except this is the maximum. So you know when you're applying force against a block, it might, it's not moving, it's not moving, it's not moving. then you put all your strength and the block moves. That's the maximum static force. Sorry, static frictional force. Uh, we'll move on now to more definitions. Uh, we'll start off with mass. So I'm just going to differentiate mass and weight here. Uh, this becomes very important later on, especially when you're de you, uh, dealing with uh, Newton's other gravitational law. But mass never changes. So that's a very important point here that we should note. Mass does not change. Mass does not change. It is the amount of matter in a body measured in kilograms. So another point that can be noted here it's if you have a some sort of block here everything inside the block the amount of matter measured in kilograms that is the mass that's not going to change if i take a bag of sand on earth the amount of stuff in it if the seals if it's a sealed bag will remain the same even if i take it out to space so the amount of matter that's in a body it's also important to note that this is a scalar quantity measured in kilograms it doesn't change weight on the other hand is the gravitational force in newtons exerted on an object so this here the gravitational force sorry gravitational force can change depending on the planet you're on another definition that can be given if it's on earth we can describe you say Weight can be described as the gravitational force the Earth exerts on any object near its surface. And it is calculated using the formula W is equal to mg, where W is the weight, sorry, where that's your weight, that's your mass, and that's your gravitational force. So, your weight can change depending on the planet you are. Weight is commonly mis misused in modern society. A lot of people will ask, what's your weight? And then you say it's, uh, I don't know, 50 kilograms. But weight is actually measured in newtons. Your mass is 50 kilograms. Your weight will be 50 times 9.8. So that's a simple definition of weight and mass that you should keep in, in mind. That will be used later on in, gravitation, in Newton's law of gravitational force. Um, the last definition that we're going to go through today or in this video is weightlessness. It is the sensation experienced when all contact forces are removed. That is, no external objects touch one's body. So this can be best described if you try to imagine one of those rides, the dragon swing boat, a swing boat sort of ride. Um, so it's it's a ride that kind of goes like this, one of those like roller coaster rides, sort of thing. And then it moves upwards, and then the whole ride will move upwards with it. So if you're a person at the top of the swing, the swing boat, then what will happen is your body will leave the boat temporarily and there'll be nothing touching it. At that time, you feel a certain sensation within yourself. That sensation is known as weightlessness. Um, sometimes you may feel it in a car if you go over quite quickly over, over like an incline or, or something that's kind of wavy like that. Um, certain times you may feel it a bit in the elevator. But essentially what weightlessness is, is when there's nothing touching your body, no external objects, uh, but that sensation that you feel, that's weightlessness. So that's about it for this video, guys. Um, uh, you can just take a look.
go back, see the definitions. These are the definitions that you should know and learn whatever has been written uh, in, in text um, that I haven't drawn in. Um, is, is a definition that has been used in exam guidelines. So please try to learn these definitions. Uh, they'll be very useful. Try to understand them. Uh, we'll be using it in, in Newton's Laws applications later on. That's it. Thanks so much, guys.